Raziel Azir was a man. In time, his kind would be called Titan. Mountains of muscle and might and metal. His collar was fur and teeth. His person clad in ornate, golden edge plating, trophies upon his shoulders. This was before the city was the city. This is before the walls, still in the shadow of the fragile giant above, but before salvation seekers came. Survivors, wary regiments of a people on the brink. These were the days before reason took hold, before study was merged with belief. The giant was looked to as one would a god. Maybe it still is. Fractions grew from the huddled masses, like minds coming together to provide support, comfort. Over time, these loyalties demanded loyalty. Differences that used to inform viewpoints that when joined granted a greater understanding of the whole became points of conflict. The sanctuary became divided. The shadow of light grew darker. This, humanity's last oasis, slowly faded to a mirage. Great, powerful men and women, the Risen, stood at the faction side. Protection. Enforcers. Misused possibility. Misery crept into the false paradise. Yet hope lingered. Seeing the cracks in the society born beneath the giant's fractured shell, some among the Risen challenged the disillusion of all that could be. They would no longer serve as instruments of oppression. They would be more. Thus began an unnecessary war made necessary by greed, ambition, fear. And, in the chaos of this struggle, came the scavengers, aliens with appetites. A common enemy. In the end, scavengers were rebelled from the fractions fell, their grip broken. Though their beliefs remained, this was the earliest days of the Guardians. When might found purpose, prosperity was in reach. Brazil had been a champion of these wars, a leader. Against the alien pirates, he had been more. If the giant wasn't a god, then maybe Raziel was. As the first walls formed, built of hard work and sacrifice, Raziel and the Guardians stood against the alien plunderers time and again. More survivors arrived, more warriors. The Guardian ranks swelled. To Raziel, it was a currency. Hope bought tomorrow. Tomorrow bought the efforts needed to survive today. Yet Raziel grew weary. Stories haunted his nights. Old stories. Those no longer told. Those locked behind tight lips for fear of what they may invoke. Whether the sun dropped beneath the horizon and the moon rose high, Raziel's thoughts wandered. How safe was safe? How long could they fight with the darkness still writhing? So, every day Raziel fought and built to protect. And every day a city grew beneath the giant. And every night he would think about all that was never said and stared intently at the moon above. I'm not sure this is a good idea. Not sure that matters. We've come. We've seen. Maybe the best course here is to warn others. Gather an army. Maybe. I'm just saying. It's possible you can't handle whatever it is we've upset here. 
We've woken nightmares. The hive were supposed to be gone. They've been silent for... They're not silent anymore. That scream? Those doors? They are best left alone. I can't do that. Stay here. Excuse me? Get distance. We don't know what this is. What's coming. Can't risk you too close to an unknown. And if you fall where I can't find you? If I fall. If I don't return. Run. Tell the others. Warn them all. There are worse things than pirates. The noble man stood, and the people looked to him, for he was a beacon, hope given form. It's still only a man, and within that truth there was a great promise. If one man could stand against the night, then so too could anyone, everyone. In his strong hand the man held a rose, and his aura burned bright. When the man journeyed on, 
people remembered. In his wake, hope spread. But the man had a secret fear. His thoughts were dark. A sadness crept from the depths of his being. He had been a hero for so long, but pride had let him down sorrow's road. Slowly, the shadows whisper. Became a voice. A dark call. Offering glories enough to make even the brightest light wander. He knew he was fading. Yet he still yearned. On his last day, he sat and watched the sun fall. His final thoughts. Pure of mind, if not body. Held to a fleeting hope. Though they would suffer for the man he would become. The people would remember him as he had been. And so the noble man hid himself behind a darkness no flesh should touch, and gave his mortal self to claim a new birthright. Whether this was choice or destiny is a truth only known to fate. In that cool evening air, as dusk was devoured by night, the noble man ceased to exist. In his place another stood. Same meat, same bone, but so very different the first and only of his family, the sole forebearer and last descendant of the name Yor. In his first moments as a new being, he looked down at his rose and realized for the first time it had no petals, only the jagged purpose of angry thorns. This will be the history of a settlement we called Palamon, and the horrors that followed an all too brief peace. I remember home, and stories of a paradise we'd all get to see someday, of a city shining even in the night. Palamon didn't shine, but it was a sanctuary of sort. We'd settle in the heart of a range that stretched the horizon, wooded mountains that shot with purpose towards the sky. Winters were harsh, but the trees and peaks hid us from the world. We talked about moving on, sometimes striking out for the city, but it was just a longing. Drifters came and went. On occasion they would stay, but rarely. We had no real government, but there was rule of law. Basic tenants agreed upon by all and eventually overseen by Magistrate Loken. And there you have it, no government until there was. I was so young, so I barely understood. I remember Loken as a hard-working man who'd just become broken. Mostly I think he was sad, sad and frightened. As his fingers tightened on Palamon, people left, those who stayed saw our days become gray. Loken's protection from the fallen, from ourselves, became dictatorial. Looking back, I think maybe Loken had just lost too much of himself, his family, but everyone lost something and some of us had nothing to begin with. My only memory of my parents is like a haze, like a daydream, a small light like the spark of their souls. It's not anything I dwell on. They left me early, taken by the dregs. Palamon raised me from there. The family I call my own, called my own, cared for me as if I was their natural born son. And life was good. Being the only life I knew, my judgment was skewed. And it wasn't easy, pocked by loss as it was but I would call it good. Until, of course, it wasn't. Until two men entered my world, one a light, the other the darkest shadow I would ever know. Jaren Ward. My reign keeps people like you in line, and those who refuse to conform must be met with punishment. 
You would question me? This is not your home. You dare come here to challenge my authority? I will not tolerate insubordination, especially not from the likes of you. This is our town. My town. Not anymore. Ha! <laughs> Those gonna be your last words then, boy? Yours. Not mine. The mighty Thalor, Crucible Champion. They say you're unbeatable, but I beg to differ. Who the hell are you?
are you? The name's Dredgenor. And you, well, you're already dead. <laughs> you can't kill a guardian. We'll just come back, be revived by our ghosts. You guardians, you think you're invincible? It's the Traveler's Light in your ghost that brings you back. But there are weapons, creatures, places, but the darkness is so strong, you can't be resurrected. Your gun. It's a weapon of the darkness. Thorn is only an instrument of my will. An instrument that saps the light out of anything it touches. All it takes is one bullet. The others, they'll stop you. You are the best of them, and even you couldn't stop me. So tell me, if you can't kill me, then who will? Your precious allies, I'll gun them down. Why? Because that's the nature of the darkness, to snuff out the light until none of it remains. Bandits caused a stir. We'll have to get rid of the fallen. I'll be back soon, Shin. One last thing. For protection. The city is hand on Mars. You looking for something? Light, darkness, and your life. Why me? Truth be told, I don't even know myself. I ain't being systematic here. Just picking off guardians until they're dead. And what do you get out of this? I do this cause I want to, not cause I need money or power. I believed in light and the traveler ones, but I've seen true fear, I've seen true power. And once that happens, once the darkness has you, you're fighting for it, or maybe with it, or maybe you're it. Same difference, really. You crazy? I ain't mad. You just ain't on my level.
You were not always this man. True. Then the math says, you do not need to remain this man. You can be better. This is better. That matter, at best, is subjective. Then what, lesser? Some would say. But what would you say? All we've seen, and now, here with me, you have no words. I have words. But... But you will not like them. There is much I do not like. More now than ever, it would seem. <laughs> I find no laughing matter in your path. Only in the journey. What brought you here was nobility. And my prize. That is no prize. A curse, then? I would say. And I would disagree. You are no longer yourself. I am myself. It's who I was that's gone. Who you were held all the value. To you. To the light. The light. It is all. It is nothing but a crutch. One that has held you up. Only just. And nothing more. Nothing more? You were a hero. And yet people still die. Corruption still exists. Light still fades. And darkness still spreads. As it will ever be, that doesn't mean you have to give in to- To what? Hope? This is not hope. This is peace. You have blood on your hands. How's that any different than prior? Innocent blood. Matter of perspective. That's the shadow talking. And I am not. The shadow? You know, these past cycles you have made an honorable effort. Tried your best to correct my course. But I don't know it needs correcting. And if it does? Could be too late. Could be is a winding path. Long way from where it was to where I'm going. That is my hope, that there is still time. For? Corrective measures, the writing of our path, the cleansing of your shadow, and a return to the light. Why do you pick me? It doesn't work that way. Was I special? You were. But only as special as any other. You are all special. Seems to contradict the word, don't it? Not in my estimation. If we're all special, are any of us special? Is that what you want? To be special? <laughs> you dismiss, but it's a very serious question. Is that all you're after? Is all of the death worth that badge? Am I not already more than the rest? Looking at you here, now, the smoke ash and bone at your feet mark you as so much less. Maybe, yet here you are. Meaning? You've been by my side every step of the way. Where else would I be? Yet you disagree so thoroughly with my change in perspective. If only the change was simply one of perspective. Your evolution was no choice. This is not you having come to an understanding after careful considered thought. This is corruption. The shadows. The darkness. Maybe so. There is no maybe here. And you think you can save me? I rekindled your light. It falls first to me to aid in its survival. I tire of it. Rezel. That is no longer my name. I will not speak the other. It doesn't matter. This is where we part ways. I will not leave you. I am leaving you. Without me, your journey ahead 
will be more than any one guardian can handle. That's the point. It's been some time since you saw me as someone worthy of walking amongst those I once called brother and sister. Without me, you will die. Someday won't be the first time. Consider this my last good deed, I'm releasing you of the burdens of my deeds, both done and yet to come. I will not abandon you. You will, or I will carve the light from your shell and leave the carcass of my first and last friend in the dirt of this dull red world for no one to find. Then I failed you completely. Not me, maybe the man I was. He is truly dead. I believe so. Belief is not fact. Semantics, I no longer have the patience for. When you speak of me, use my proper name. Tell them of the man that stands before you, not the ghost of the hero I once was. You will always be Rezalazir to me. If you cannot let this man go, you will forever taint his legacy. All the good I have ever done will be washed away in the fire of who I have become. If you care, there is still some promise within you. If I'm being honest, I care only to give hope to the frightened, huddled masses, so that when I come upon them, they will have more to lose. Their pain will be greater, their screams more pure. You. Nothing dies like hope. I cherish it. You're a monster. Finally, you see the truth. Rezal Azir is truly dead. So I've said, long live Dredgen Yor. This is farewell, but you can only run from your sin so far. In the end, you will die alone. Maybe so. I gotta tell ya, I tend to like my odds. Your tainted rose will not always save you. Old friend, it already has. Can I see what you got there? Yeah, can it? Can I see it? Do I know you? Not that I can say. And do you want to hold my peace? Just that I never seen one like it. No, you haven't. Looks dangerous. Seems. Maybe that's the point. Suppose so. Can I see it? Not likely. Where do you find it? You hearing me? He asked you a question. Didn't find it. Made it. <laughs> Hell of a touch you got then. You a smith? I look like a smith? Looks can be deceiving. Got that right. Is there a problem? Doesn't need to be. Glad we got that cleared up. Now, about that piece. Been to Luna. Excuse me? The moon. You been? Nobody's been. That a truth? That's a fact. Funny, you make that distinction. Truth is, you must think you're kind of something special. With that attitude. The way you're just dismissing us like we're nothing. Like we ain't even here. Fact is, you ain't near as rock solid as you figure. Fact is, special's only special till it's not. The bones say otherwise. Speak straight. You said no one's been to the moon. The bones say otherwise. What bones? All of them. What are you getting at? Too many to count. You trying to get a rile out of us? I was only making conversation. You really weren't. We got a smart one here. Experienced more than smart. But experience has its advantages. 
experience tell you to live off strangers just trying to make talk? Keep insisting, and maybe we will. Talk? Have words. Ain't that what we're doing? My conversations tend to be a bit louder. Is that a threat? A truth. Who the hell you think you are? According to your facts, nobody. Yet here I sit. Doesn't matter how pretty your cannon is. You keep it up, we'll see just how loud you like to get. You done talking now? Guess he knows his place, boys. Ever have a nightmare? You playing games, or just thick? I know you have. This world can't help but... I don't have nightmares. I give them. You're a goddamn cliché. The picture-perfect bandit. Hearing your voice? The things you're saying? The shade of a hard man you pretend to be? Ain't no shade. Sit down. Your mouth just got your friend dead. This is what happens when you bore me. And right now, I'm so very bored. What? Well, no, listen. Shh. But you're 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 one of them, a guardian, right? You're supposed to be one of the good ones. Supposed to be. Maybe I am. Maybe this is what good looks like. Anymore, who can tell? Uh, I... You wanted to see my prize. No, I... Look at it. <laughs> what brain won't stop what's coming next? Look, open your eyes. Not many get such a clean view. The bone. You see it? Jagged like thorns. I used to think of it as a rose, focusing on its bloom. But the bloom is just a byproduct of its anger. You ever have nightmares? Ever seen a nightmare? Ever open your eyes and realize that the war wasn't a dream? The terror wasn't gone? I've seen nightmares. They live in the shadows. They've been watching. I thought, it's foolish, I know. But, I thought I saw a way that maybe we could win, maybe we could survive, but once you step into those shadows, it's so very hard to walk in the light. Or, maybe I wasn't strong enough, maybe, but I feel strong now. I stole the dark, or maybe it stole me. Either way, here we are, and I'm hungry. It's hungry, and you have no light to the spark of your pathetic life. But a spark is something. Open your eyes. The stranger took a room, took our hospitality. I was intrigued by him, but he seemed cold, distant. He was polite, but solemn. I took him for a sad, broken man, and he was, though at the time I didn't understand how that could make someone dangerous. My father made an effort to keep me away from the stranger. It wouldn't matter.
What happened? Palamon. It's gone. How many survivors? None. They're all dead. Killed by the monster that tore this village down. We'll catch him, Shin. I promise you that. You were supposed to be our savior. Our protector. And you failed. Maybe if you'd been here, they'd still be alive. But you left us. I'm sorry. Where do I go now? There's a place. It's called the city. We might just be safe there from whatever destroyed Palamon. It's our only hope, but it won't be easy. It's a long, hard journey. And after that? We can hunt down whoever did this. And we will, Shin. Who are you? Doesn't matter who I am. Why are you here then? I am a storm, here to cleanse the light. You're a guardian? That's beside the point. So what are you? A vessel of change. Define change. You cling to the light desperately. I will break that dependence. You... You've been corrupted by the darkness. Not quite, but close enough. Then I have to stop you. You're welcome to try. What did you do to him? I took his light from him. Such darkness. Impressed. Far from it. To each their own. His light is faded. His light is gone. You are an infection. I am that which will cleanse. You are a monster. An old friend once saw me the same. He was right, and had we met earlier, so too would you be. 
You dare defend yourself? All you've done as anything but monstrous? No more than a hurricane. So you're a force of nature? I am all that is right. You may not see it for lack of looking or for blind ignorance, but I am all that is good. You've just murdered a good man. He shot first. Yet you stand. Guess he missed. He never missed. First time for everything. His cannon. Nice piece of hardware. Well worn but clean. Smooth hammer. It was his prize. Guess he put too much faith in the wrong steel. Is that where your faith lies? In steel? Not for some time. My steel is an extension. My faith is in the shadows. Then my light is an affront to all you are. I am your truest enemy. One of many. Would you end me? Not you. Not now. The shadow knows mercy. The shadow knows no such thing. Then what? The dead man's charge. The boy? You'd end him as well? If it comes down to that, we'll see. I won't let you have the child. That you could stop me is an amusing thought. Here, take it. Why? Give the apprentice his master's sword. It is a gift. You cannot have him. You fear for his light? He is special. Yes. I'm aware. You are trying to tempt him. You're feeding his anger. The gun is a memento, nothing more. You claim to be a vessel, a hollow shell where a man once stood. But that is a lie. The man is still in you. There is no man here. I am now, and for the rest of time, only dredging your... The Eternal Abyss. So not all of the forgotten languages are dead. Hide behind whatever titles you wish. It is still a facade. No force of nature would play such games. Games? The canon. You wish to tempt the boy. To spur him on and fuel his rage. There is intent there. The actions of a man, monstrous, mad or otherwise. You are nothing more. And what value does your conclusion bring, flawed as it may be? That a hurricane can only be weathered, not stopped, not redirected. A force of nature is uncaring and without intent. But a man... Yes. A man is none of these things. A man can be killed. And there it is. What? A sliver of hope. Shin Malfur. Where's Jaren? He's dead. Killed by the same man who destroyed Palamon. He calls himself Dredgen Yor, and he told me to give you this. This was Jaren's gun. Why did his killer send it to me? He's playing games. Trying to feed your anger. Maybe... Maybe this is what he wants. Doesn't matter. I'm going after him anyway. And I'm gonna kill him. We should get to the city. From there, we can contact the Vanguard and let them know that you're a traitor. They can deal with this. No, I won't let anyone else kill him. It has to be me. Pursuits of revenge never end well. For him or for me? For both of you. We need to catch him. Yes, the darkness around him. It was like nothing I'd seen before. 
What happened to him? My guess is he's a guardian who got corrupted by the darkness. So how do I kill him? I couldn't detect his ghost anywhere. Maybe he destroyed it. Maybe it fled from him. Either way, he will not be reviving himself. What else should I know about Yor? His weapon is an instrument of darkness. I didn't have time to run a full scan, but from what I saw, it's evil. The darkness in it. It's why I couldn't bring Jaren back. Guess I'll just have to shoot straighter than him. You're gonna pay for Jaren's murder. Maybe, but not today, boy. Shin, be careful. I've got this.
He's gone, Shin. There was a ship below the cliffs. I had him! I had him right there, and he was gone! It doesn't matter now. When the Vanguard hear about this, he'll be hunted down and killed. No, I want to do it myself. No one kills Dredgen Yor but me. He could have gone off planet. If we want to chase him, we'll need a ship. So how do we get one? I know where, but it's risky. Not to mention illegal. I'm done caring. It'll do. Hey you! Stop right there! Hey, you! What are you doing here? Ah! Uh, hello? Say something! How far the mighty have fallen. What's that supposed to mean? You were strong once. Powerful. You survived the Vault of Glass. And now you're weak. Broken. Terrified of traveling alone. How... how do you know? Doesn't matter how I know. Who are you? I am everything and nothing. A black hole. A hurricane. What do you want with me? You see, the thing about a hurricane... It can't stop. Can't redirect itself. His victims can only adore it, not turn it away. You're going to kill me! We need a place to start. I could search the Vanguard database for unsolved murders. See what comes up. You think we're dealing with a serial killer? I can't rule it out. Alright. I've got 237 unsolved killings. 
We're going to have to narrow that down. Remove any murders that weren't shootings. If Jaren was shot, then yours other victims would have been shot as well. That still leaves 117 deaths. Out here, we need all the protection we can get against the Fallen. And that means guns. We're going to have to narrow it down even further. Filter out anyone who isn't a Guardian. That leaves us with two results. Both Titans. First Titan was called Holborn. He failed to check in with the Vanguard. His body was found in Blind Watch, an area on Mars. The second Titan is Thalor. He's... good. Very good. I'm surprised Yor managed to kill him. He's supposed to be the most skilled guardian in the Crucible. The Crucible? It's a training ground. Having the luxury of reviving means we can use live weapons. Until Dredge and Yor showed up, where was Thalor's body found? A place called Icarus. It's an area of Mercury designated as a Crucible Arena. Then, I'll start there. You can get some rest while I fly the ship. No. I'll rest when Dredge and Yor is dead. Ghost, scan the body. He was killed by a single shot to the head, but there are multiple fractured bones, a dislocated arm, and three broken ribs. He put up a fight, and I'm detecting something else. What is it? Some kind of residual energy. It's quite faint, but it matches the signature I detected on Jaren's body. Can you track it? If the energy was stronger, then yes. But Thalor's been dead for weeks. So we need to find one of yours more recent victims. What about Holborn? By the time we get there and find the body, it'll be too faint to be useful. Have you tried searching for potential victims? Yes. I'm accessing the Vanguard database for reports of missing guardians. Tell me what's come up. A hunter failed to report in. Guy named Pahanan. His file is interesting. He's a reclusive loner, but never travels alone. Where does he live? An area of Earth called the Breaklands. Take us there. Scan the body. He was also killed by a single headshot, but there's no marks anywhere else on his body. He was most likely caught by surprise. Forget all that. The energy signature. Can you trace it this time? Yes. I'll need to be within a few miles, but I can detect where Dredge and Yor is. Then we'll sweep the solar system until we find him. Let's start with Earth. So we swept the solar system. Every crucible map, every missing guardian, every possible hideout. We spent years hunting a shadow, but I never gave up, not even once. What is that? The Temple of Crota. Legend says that the Hive worship Crota as a god, but there's no proof yet that he exists. We've never seen him, never fought him, never communicated with him. 
He is a myth. What are those things? They're called Hive. If you want to investigate the temple, you'll have to clear them out. This temple, it's full of the same kind of darkness I saw in Dredgen Yor. Could he have been corrupted by this place? I don't think so. It takes a lot to taint the light, and just being here wouldn't cut it. I think something else happened here. If we can find out who visited this place, we can figure out who Dredgen Yor is. Can we search the database? There's no official record of anyone going to the moon in the Vanguard archives. If Dredgen Yor came here as a guardian, he came here in secret. Then we'll keep searching the solar system until we find his signal again. Let's get back to the ship. My connection to the light is weak here. I think I've found something. 
There's a ghost transmission coming from an area of Earth called Druga. Fly us there. I'm sensing Yor's aura. He's close. Lead the way. Hey there. Who do you belong to? Who are you? Where's Dresden Yor? Long gone. What are you? Wait. You're his ghost? That explains why you were emitting his aura. He abandoned me a long time ago, when I tried to reverse his corruption. Is there anything you can tell me? Any weaknesses? He has none. Everything he does, every move he makes, it's all planned out. And at the end, he will not hesitate. Nor should you. It takes merely a scratch from his dreaded rose to kill, so you must shoot first. I can't just leave you here. You must. I do not matter. I should have died long ago. But you can still finish what I started. You can stop him. I'll come back for you. I promise. That was our last lead. We searched everywhere, and we haven't found it. Maybe he never left Earth. Maybe he's still there, somewhere. It's worth a shot. Shin, I'm reading strong traces of yours aura. Must have killed recently to get an aura that strong. And it's a trail. Seems too strange to be a coincidence. Be careful. Let's follow the trail. went up the mountain. The trail stops at an outcrop called Dwindler's Ridge. According to the Vanguard database, it's over 2,000 meters high. Then, I better get started.
been a while. The gunslinger's sword, his cannon, that was a gift, an offering from me to you. Nothing to say? I've been waiting for you, for this day. Many times I thought you'd faltered, given up. But this is truly an end. Yours, not mine. It's over. Not as long as that weapon exists. But what are you going to do with his weapon? I'll destroy it. <laughs>